Hey guys, Aussie Griffin here. Uh, recently, the geeky gentleman had me on as guest host of the podcast. So, uh, links in the description for the talk. We're talking about morality in comic books and uh, also in uh, movies and pop culture. And I've got to tell you, it's not so much that I disagree with everyone. A couple of hours, this is what always happens to me on subjects like this. A couple of hours after we do this podcast, I think, um, is it not just the heroes that we need? Do we need the villains as well? Because a lot of people will tell you, especially people who study psychology, that our works of fiction are our way of dramatizing and illustrating uh, our own moral conflicts and how we achieved the decisions that we did, especially in the context that we understood them. So I'm going to pose a question out to my audience, such as it is, it's maybe 10, 7 people at the most. What is it that we need from our heroes? I mean, some people say all we need is paragons and exemplars and people who set a good example, that's what they basically mean. Um, I would argue we need more than that. I would argue that part of the job of film and literature is not just to exam have examples of the good, it's also to show you where the floor is. It's also to show you where the gutter and, the s and occasionally the basement are and what will happen if you transgress those boundaries. If you not just be amoral, which is where you go with what someone else says or you uh, don't take part in things in general, if you outright transgress against things. So, I want to hear what you think about this. I mean, am I wrong? Do we just need the good? Or is there even another state that even I'm not thinking of? So, I'd like to hear some feedback on this one. Links in the description box to the review of The Geeky Gentleman. Uh, and you can call me Ozzy Griffin. It's been a great time talking to you. Let's talk about things again soon.